Aurora and I've just completed the weekend of learning about massage on the lingam and yoni. <sighs> okay. So I was partnered with someone I met kind of five minutes before. It was kind of a last minute decision for myself, but it was the absolute best and most needed thing for me. Um, Something came up the day before where I had a kind of realisation about um, maybe some sexual trauma from my past and um, this naturally just appeared in my world for me to experience and um, I saw it as a very healing experience. For me it wasn't, um, the main focus wasn't on more pleasure, it was, it was on healing um, but I did have a lot of pleasure as well. <laughs> um, I'd, I'd say the most magical thing was um, when I received the yoni massage, um, I felt really safe in the space, it was held so beautifully, um, there was maybe five couples and just the energy was very warm and welcoming and so I felt very safe to let a new person that I'd just met um, explore my most yeah private parts. and. Um, I had this experience of a returning of a feeling that I've not had for a very long time which felt really really innocent um, I would describe it as joy um, I was laughing um, there was this like opening in my heart and this yeah deep deep feeling of childlike joy and excitement about life whereas uh, I could feel a lot of the time this kind of despair, this despair that my child was going through, the child part of me, from this experience I imagine from my past that I'd never really looked into. Um, so yeah, that that is continuing to happen for me, that, that opening up. And then today we have just completed the lingam massage, the full body and then lingam massage. Uh, yeah, wow. <laughs> I have lots of really great tricks now. <laughs> and actually I'd say um I kind of feel like my my posture is more open and I feel more upright, a bit more kind of uh self-worth. Like I have a lot of wisdom now and I have a lot of amazing tools to bring a lot of pleasure to someone so I'm definitely not going to just meet a random person um, and just I don't know like go into that old way of being which was flat it was already really flat for me it was um, a bit lifeless and as time went on it became more and more it didn't feel right and didn't resonate with me so this was pretty much my main experience of Tantra and um, yeah, I was thinking, I think I'm in this gang. <laughs> I was feeling like, yeah, I think I'm gonna be this um, queen that's like, unless you're into Tantra, I don't know if I want to go there. And that might um, sound kind of like I'm closing off from people, but actually it's opening up to more people that I actually want to connect with now. And in a way that, is much more loving where I oh my god I'm honored like I my body is honored I am honored and yeah like the whole the whole ethos is kind of a man wants to serve my body and bring me more pleasure and then also I want that for a man as well so there's this kind of element of best friends and caring for each other um, so yeah, and I went live on my Facebook and let people know that I did Tantra, so my mum will probably watch it and uh, actually it's almost like, yeah, I'm not, this is too good to kind of keep to myself. My impression from the community is, firstly, uh, I was in distress, something unpleasant had happened and I sent a message, I felt a draw in my body um, to reach out and I said that I f needed to feel safe somewhere and um, that was really picked up on whereas sometimes people can miss miss the subtlety like uh, I was in distress and I needed help um, that same night I was welcomed in 
um, I'm sat on the floor and um, I'm being with my emotions but I'm suppressing a bit and um, Clara came over and she did a heartfelt how are you without going how are you I've just got to go and do something she sat with me and she let me go into my emotion and I could fully be my complete self and she accepted me and she related so I didn't feel alone and yeah I, I guess all my interactions with with yeah, the community uh, I felt wholly safe to constantly be myself um, and the food is amazing I didn't even know any of these fruits existed I was like there's no way I'm gonna be a vegan I was like sneaky having crisps and things but actually um, I can like gorge I don't know if that's the right word but like keep eating loads of amazing fruit and like I can eat a mango and get it all on my face and it's like really like that in itself is a tantric experience it's like the fruit I get to experience the wholeness of the fruit. Uh, yeah, so it's really, really wonderful. Like, very safe, um, very caring, very clean communication, and yeah, beautiful. So beautiful. And the cats are amazing.